Welcome in, everybody, to part two of our Chicago Bears rebuild here in our 2022 season. Coming off a surprising week one performance where we defeat the defending Super Bowl champion LA Rams. Justin Fields had an okay start, made some big plays. David Montgomery, a couple of touchdowns. Will Fuller, our big region addition, having a big first week there. But it was the defense stealing the show in that first game. I do want to ask you guys, if you're watching this up on TFG Plays, please do hit that like button. really helps me out, helps this channel out. If you're watching this live with me here on Twitch, welcome in. But what we're going to do for this first season is do one more game of full offense at some point, probably later in the season. I'm going to do two games of full-on play the moments. And that's all I'm going to do here for our first season. Might uptick that, might leave it like that, depending on how the pacing feels. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it. We are game planning for the elite Joe Burrow this week. Let's try and get after that offensive line with Bluce's defense here. Weekly strategy here. Let's defend the medium pass where Joe Burrow thrives. And offensively, let's see if we can get the, the run game going. It was a really fun first episode, fun first stream. Thank you, everybody, who tuned in last night. And thank you, everyone, joining me live here right now. I don't know if the... If our success will sustain with this Bears team or not, we are definitely uh, definitely have the odds stacked against us with this roster, which is not a very good one. Javelin Gidry gets an upload update upgrade rather. We are not starting him in the slot. We're starting Thomas Graham. The entire group of defensive backs here actually got like 4,500 XP for that Week One performance. Good boost for Kyler Gordon. Jaquan Brisker. Justin Jefferson Stan says, perfect timing. I just finished episode one. Awesome. Welcome in. Happy to have you. Ooh, two overall for Thomas Graham. Ooh, a speed boost for our boy. All right. Pays us back for starting him. So, right out the gate here, we've got our young secondary getting better. So, we do have Al-Qadeen Muhammad returning to the defense this week. Just want to make sure that doesn't mess up. Um, pass rush, nope. I don't know what that noise is. I don't know if that's coming through on the mic or not. It's like our neighbor's using a saw or something. Um, but I am going to simulate this week. As I mentioned, only going to be interfering with a few more games this season. Don't want to overload the first part of the season with those. So let's go ahead and advance. We're going to climb to 2-0. No, 24 to 20. A lot going on here. Let's see what happened. Close game. Fields throws his first touchdown. Not a ton of excitement there offensively. Defensively. Just kind of a bland game. Eddie Jackson gets a pick. Chaser, I will let you know when we need to get the uh, chat betting odds going in here. So we fall to, I mean, the first, that's interesting. Our first two games were against the defending conference champions. So we start one and one in that stretch. Not too bad. Players are going to have decreased play recognition. 
Yes, LG, first deep dive will be tomorrow evening. Very much looking forward to that. So this week, plan on offense in a rainy game will be to run the ball. We did pick up a new injury here this week, and it's Will Fuller. There you have it. That is the Will Fuller experience. A torn pack done for the season. Will go on IR. Not a big surprise. This is a player that just cannot stay healthy. So, oof. A good first game and then disappears for us. That means... Honestly, we might need to take another look at a wide receiver. We could go to our depth, but ouch. <laughs> Very realistic rebuild so far. Um, man. <laughs> That's uh, it's incredible. Let's look at our wide receiver room because... I do not think Velas Jones is ready to step up. I don't think any of these guys are ready to step up. I really think we need to sign someone. Um, I think if we're looking to fill that role on our offense, Tyrell Williams is sitting there. Uh, Deshaun Jackson would be the same exact risk. I think Tyrell Williams would make a lot of sense. I'm not going to start him this week uh, just to kind of represent the idea that he needs to get used to the playbook and all that stuff. So this week it will not be him out there. We'll go with uh, Pringle in that role. I just, I don't trust Byron Pringle to be that role. So we will roll with that on the depth chart for this week. We got the Browns this week. So the start to the schedule is definitely a tough one. Let's put together a game plan. Got to defend against Deshaun Watson, who uh, I guess I forgot to give X-Factor to. Let me do that real quick before I forget him. His X-Factor happy ending. We'll go uh, Clutch, Gunslinger, Dash, and Deadeye. That works. So the strategy is going to be, I think, to actually defend the outside run in this rain game. I'm going to stick with full pads. And let's get our ground game going a little bit this week as well. We have 49 staff points. I'm going to let those accumulate a little bit before we start spending them. Let's do our upgrades. Uh, DeAndre Houston Carson gets a boost. Good backup safety to have. Builder getting better here. We got to work on his zone ability. It's not terrible. Nice boost. Oh, geez, Justin, you just got a one-star DoorDash delivery. <laughs> you dropped the shake. Oof. That's a that's a terrible way to uh, get your first bad review. I'm sure you're a very good DoorDash delivery guy. Justin Fields gets an upgrade. We're going to go Improviser. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Justin Fields gets a speed boost? <laughs> okay. 91 speed. Wow. Javon Hargrave back from injury. Isaiah Likely back from injury. We've had a lot of injuries early on here.
A lot of people in the chat bringing up Baker Mayfield. We're just going to let the Baker Mayfield thing play out here. Um, we're going to pretend this is a scenario where the Browns didn't trade him and he's holding out and he'll hit the market next year. That uh, relationship is starting to get a little ugly. But uh, we'll, we'll let Madden handle the Baker Mayfield situation. But let's go ahead and advance again here against Cleveland. Not expecting to win this one. Cleveland's a good team. 28 to 7. There you go. The team confidence is going to be deteriorating here. We need a win if we're going to turn the season around. Or we can just not turn this season around offense definitely struggling i do not want to put any more pressure on justin fields than we already have with this surrounding situation um let's see what happened fields throws three picks in the rain trying to come back ugly Ugly game. We don't get a single sack from our D-line. Eddie Jackson gets his second pick on the year. At least he's playing well. So we got um, Detroit this week. It gets a little bit easier. We are at home. I honestly, I think I might do a play the moments this week. It's a good opportunity to kind of jumpstart our season after three really tough games. Let's defend the inside run. We know Detroit wants to do that. And let's... Let's see if we can open up the passing game for Fields a little bit. Build that confidence up before we start simming again. I'm going to set a goal of uh, two touchdown passes, three touchdown passes. But uh, if we can't win this week, it's definitely starting to feel a little bit tanky here in Chicago. Man. These D-backs keep getting speed boosts, though. Apparently, we're playing fast under Eberflus. We are going to put Tyrell Williams in the lineup. It'll be a Tyrell Williams revenge game this week. As he signs here after the injury to Will Fuller. Yep, Fields already morale down. Let's see if we can build that back up a little bit here this week. Our game play, game day goal was to just beat Detroit. Eddie Jackson, defensive player of the week. 13 tackles and a pick. It'd be fun if he could uh, return to his superstar status. But we're going to go full play the moments here this week. Get a little bit of offense, a little bit of defense. Let's break out some... All blues, color rush. Another rainy game. Big first quarter drive. You love to see it. I'm gonna check to a little bubble here to Velas. Oh. Tried to spin inside. Failed miserably. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chaser, thank you. Not too late to get a spread up here. Let's do... Let's do Bears minus two and a half. I think the spread should be pretty close on this one. I'll see if you can get that up here before we... Do this third down play. This might change the spread. Third and nine. Oh! An absolute dime from Justin Fields. Good route by Velas Jones. That was beautiful. Sorry, Aiden Hutchinson. Sorry you had to be dropped into coverage on that play. Nice start. Ooh. 
Montgomery trying to squeeze through there. We're going to go speed option here. Uh, they kind of defended it well, though. We're actually going to check that. Get Darnell Mooney. What kind of production am I expecting from Kayvon and Evan Neal in their rookie year? Um, let me answer that after this play. Big third and three. There's Tyrell. Well, I think Thibodeau probably gives you... He'll get a lot of playing time. I bet he gets you a good 40... 45 pressures, five, six sacks would be a reasonable expectation for him. And uh, Evan Neal, I think, will be a top 20 offensive tackle, or at least a top 20 right tackle. I got called timeout. Hate when teams drop pass rushers into coverage. Like, why? Hey, it can confuse the QB. It really can. I do like the I like the Bears jerseys a lot, just in general. One of my favorite jerseys in the league. Ah, oh, good read, but the throw and the timing with Tyrell Williams only had about a week of chemistry with Justin Fields. Can't connect on the back shoulder there. We're going empty. This... Newly inspired Lions pass rush. Going to try and get after it here. And they do. Our offensive line gets just embarrassed on that one. Nowhere for Fields to go. Santos going to have a tough kick in the rain. Oh, that might be shanked. Oh, no. Santos with the noodle leg. Yikes. How did he not make that? Well, we get a chance on defense into the red zone. They've already gone and uh, screwed up our sub linebacker. And apparently our slot corner, we have DeAndre Houston Carson. I hate what, that Madden does that. When you have injuries, like, I don't want you changing up my depth chart like that. Good hit, Roquan. They put, Houston Carson comes back from a one-week injury, and they put him in at slot corner. Keep them out. Got Hargrave out there. There you go. Oh, come on. Come on. Get it. Jeez, Jamal Williams refusing to go down. Eddie Jackson gets hurt. Gosh, the injuries this year. We need a nickname for how many injuries we've got on this team right now. Oh, St. Brown can't quite turn up field. We got third and goal. Get it. Ooh, that was a heck of a play by 40. That was, who was that? LJ Fort making a play on that. Good job. All right, they're going to go for it here. They got it. Good effort. 
We're driving. What do we got? Third and five. Still no points. This offense has been as bad as we could have feared. Go get it, Komet. The big man! The big man! Hey! Woo! What a play! Way to float that, Fields. Beautiful. Right on Amani Arawarie. Hell yeah. Great play. And we get the ball back. Driving. This Eberflus defense is turning it back around a little bit. No! Mooney coughs it up. Tackle, guys. Oh, Mooney, no! You had a great route. And you just put it on the dirt. Bummer. Defense does continue to dominate, though. Now we're into the red zone. There you go, Montgomery. Do a little read option here down by the goal line. Probably a handoff here with the pre-snap look. Yep. Truck him. There you go, David. We're going to go right back to that look right there. Oh, Montgomery, lower your shoulder, man. Run behind your pads. We're going back to them. They're spreading out their defense. Horrible, horrible defensive play call by Aaron Glenn. We take the lead. Oh no, Fields, get up. That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful to, to perform like that. Pitiful. We've, we've thrown four interceptions for touchdowns this year. That might be an NFL record. We've, we've thrown... Ugh. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Hopefully the team can bounce back from that. Defense just gut-wrenched. Having a great game, and Justin Fields does that crap. We got third and ten. We're going man coverage here from Fluce's defense. Jared Goff. The small hands can't make a throw in the rain. They do make their kick, but now we are into the red zone. What an interesting game. Second and two. Thoughts on the Bradbury signing. Elite move for the Eagles. Love that move for the Eagles. That was a huge missing piece for that defense. Howie Roseman stays winning. Oh, look at that push. I'm going to get a little pop pass rep here for Velas Jones down by the goal line. See if we can get him a touchdown here. I don't hate the look. We can get some blocking. I should have just gone bubble screen, honestly. Oh, God. Oh! No! Come on! What the hell? What is going on? What is happening? You've got to be kidding me! What? These receivers are killing us. Ah, come on. 
That is not the uh, sound bike from the Quay Walker pick. That is from um, one of my more recent videos I posted on plays. Get him! Oh, come on! From the uh, interception against the Seahawks in my TFGO League game. Oh, dude. We we try and manufacture a touchdown for Velas Jones, and that's how he pays us back. you got to be kidding me. Come on. What a self-destruction. Game's not over yet, and we can play inside two minutes. So let's we'll flip over and start playing the rest of this game here. Tyrell Williams can't hang on. Oh my god, what a play. Mike Hughes. I actually thought that was going to be open. That was a great play by Mike Hughes. So we lose again. <laughs> the Bears are who we thought they were. Ugly loss, man. Ugly, ugly loss. And we drop to one and three. Which is two plages to go on this season. The team morale is not going to like that one. The conditions absolutely got to us on that one. How did this team beat the Rams? I have no idea. We definitely have gone downhill since week one. Make a trade for a wide receiver. I don't think this team is in a position to trade for veterans. That's the thing. Too early in the rebuild to be mortgaging good picks for veterans. Um, We just got to keep trucking through this thing, man. We got the Raiders next week. Can uh, take a look at our renegotiations a little bit. Montgomery's up. He wants a big deal. I'm going to wait on him. Roquan, we definitely want to pay. We don't want him going anywhere. Five years, 57 mil. I think that's that's pretty close to what he would get. We'll go five years, 60. So he's sticking around. Other than that, pretty much everybody else is going to be leaving us here. Mustafer, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, if we don't start winning, we're going to have to start selling off some of these vets. So let's... Let's start doing some simming here. We got to deal with the Raiders this week. Thirty, uh, 22 to 13. We actually have a breakout player, though. So we actually going to get one more little breath of life here. Um, let's see who it is. Travis Gibson. All right, we're going to be playing a little bit of defense this week against Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers. So we'll do that. Travis Gibson. More of a run defending guy up front. But if we can get, I think all he needs is a TFL. It's it's a very doable breakout. Let's see. Let's try and defend outside run. And uh, that could be a good signal that it's time to move on from Robert Quinn. If one of our edge guys can get starred of here. We need some optimism here. Uh, let's also start thinking about some scouting. Now that uh, we're one and four, I will shout out Jazzer. Everyone, make sure you go follow Jazzer129 on YouTube. He was integral in making this roster possible. I think the only reason he's in the chat right now is he's actually streaming. But um, we are using a draft class he made here that's going to have some of those top 
quarterbacks here. So Bryce Young, CJ Stroud in there. Looks like we got Smith and Jigba. Zion Nelson. I don't know about Zion Nelson being a first round pick, but some of these guys are real life. Will Anderson out of Alabama. Most of these players will be uh, fictional. Eli Ricks, I recognize that name. Brandon Joseph. Looks like some of these safeties didn't save. Um, there's a glitch in this game, believe it or not. So I think Brandon Joseph is Notre Dame. Whoa, what the heck? Actually, I probably shouldn't do this because we can actually see the overalls. I didn't even look. One of you guys probably did. I promise I didn't see anything. Um, I'm closing my eyes. I'm going to get out of this screen. We'll fix the, we'll have to fix the colleges later after the draft. But let's do upgrades and then we'll, we'll play this entire game as Travis Gibson, Tevin Jenkins. Let's work on that ad agile blocking style a little bit for this system. Nice boost. Malcolm Rodriguez gets a boost. Pretty measly one. Some coverage, though. Darnell Mooney, we need you. So we are going to go hop in. Playing every snap. Oops. With, uh... Travis Gibson until we can get the breakout. Make sure he's actually out there. Oh, Jordan Love's in the game. Aaron Rodgers is hurt. It's fun. We get to see a little bit of Jordan Love action. I'm going to guess this is getting ran to the other side here. Ugh, I was trying to get over there. I couldn't. Doesn't feel great, Joshy Boy. Does not feel great. I promise you that. <laughs> we got... Um screwed against Detroit. Oh god, that was horrible run defense, but DB's cleaned up well for us. Okay, third and three. I'm actually going to go wide nine and put us in as a uh, interior rusher in this package. Get through. Ugh. Love driving. Yeah, it is a tough matchup to break out against a, a good Green Bay D-line. Or O-line, rather. We can do it, though. Ugh. Get through. Locked down by Elton Jenkins. I can't see shit. <laughs> that angle is so bad. I have no idea how close I actually am. Ooh, we got a penalty coming. Roughing. Come on, guys. What are we doing? Man, we're getting stonewalled right now.
You guys aren't a fan of the angle? All right. Oh, we're not even on the field. I gotta... I'm gonna sim this uh, red zone trip because we need a breather. Can't play every single snap. You gotta have some bit of a rotation in there. Patriot Wing, we are on next gen Xbox. Oh, Gibson! Going the wrong way there, Rogers. I see our offense has decided to not make any adjustments and still sucks. <laughs> Third down coming up. You just got your Series S. Well, you should uh, you should apply to our league, my man, Patriot Wing. Always looking for some people that just picked up the new Xbox. If you're interested, thirty-two man realism league. Oh, get him, Gibson! Yes! Woo! We done it. We got Jordan Love. And our breakout is complete. We will now sim to the end of the game. Come on, offense. There you go. Yikes. Yikes. Gosh. This offense is so... Oh. Man. 39 points from Jordan Love. Well, I'm glad Jordan Love's playing well, but... Sheesh. Defense really did not have a great game. But hey, Travis Gibson ended up with two TFLs in simulation as well. Javelin Gidry got a pick. Congrats, Grim, on the playoff victory. Mercedes Lewis is still in Green Bay, yep. Yeah. Roll out the red carpet, baby. Travis Gibson. And we lost, so... Oh my god, 20,000 XP. Patriot Wing, great question. That link I sent you is for our TFGO League. It's the one I play in. Stream here on Twitch. Upload on TFG Plays YouTube. But at 1 in 5, I think trading... Robert Quinn <laughs> makes a lot of sense. He hasn't done anything for us. Does he even have a sack yet? Fields is not playing well. Robert Quinn has two sacks. I think we trade Robert Quinn. 32 years old. You would think someone would want... I feel like Bengals is a good fit. Browns would be a good fit. They don't have the cap space for him, though. Cardinals definitely would be a good fit. Do the... Uh, we already sent one player to the Cardinals. Do... Um, are the Cardinals in contention? Would they make a trade here? Two and four... I think the Browns probably make... Oh, they don't have the cap space. We'll do Cardinals. Looks like Eddie Jackson's ready to play. We already gave Arizona Mario Edwards. I know. Different positions, though. And that D-line is so bad. And they're trying to win right now. I don't... I don't have a problem. It's not like we're getting much for Robert Quinn. We're getting a... Probably a fifth from him. Arizona has definitely not shied away from throwing draft picks at uh, veterans. So Robert Quinn's gone. That means we can bring in somebody. Let's bring Patrick Johnson back. We originally had him for a second. Got to take on 
the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're gonna go half pads for a week. It's been a it's been a rough go of this. Let's see if just saying Fields just send it this week. See if it changes anything for our offense. Can't get any worse. I mean, the schedule. We got Tampa, Niners, Steelers. Brutal. Eddie Jackson's back. That's good. Just make sure they're not messing with our... We go Bryce Huff. We'll definitely go... Let's slide up Travis Gibson. They did this again, so let's get that fixed they did that so we'll have to fix that Kyler Gordon another boost that's his second on the year it's been a quiet season for him nice upgrade though Travis Gibson has three boosts here so I'm gonna go I think one power rush and two run stop A lot of block shedding there, so up to 78 block shed. Very respectable run defensibility there. It's good, uh, good to get something positive working on this team. Let's advance. Let's keep this thing going. A win. That was unexpected. 24 to 21. Suck it, Tom Brady. You're trash. I really thought we were going to continue just getting steamrolled. Okay. Starting to build a little bit of something here. Fields played better than Thomas Brady. Montgomery's continuing to churn out about 74 every week. Velas Jones, look at you. Six for 99. Okay. No sacks, no interceptions, but... Josh, you called that Brady would throw the game so that I can't get the number one pick. So now we play the Niners. This is Fields versus Lance. Let's let's see if we can uh, kickstart our season with one last ditch effort here. Oh, they're starting Jimmy G. I didn't even think about that. Well, Kyle Shanahan's done crazier things, I guess. Um. Still, I'm going to I'm going to play this week. Actually, the the half pads did did good things for us. We're going to keep it that way. I want to go um defend the outside run. Jimmy G so handsome he deserves to start. That's right. All right, let's see if we can uh, throw some touchdowns. Spread this week, Chaser. If we're playing the whole game of offense, I think we should go Bears minus three. Actually, this Niners defense is tough. Hold on. That's maybe a little ambitious. Maybe Niners minus three. <laughs> okay, Bryce Hoff. Man, this defense, for whatever reason, under Matt Eberflus, just gets faster. Fun if Bryce Huff can have a nice second half of the year here after we trade it off. Robert Quinn. Velas Jones coming off a good week. Eddie Jackson. All right, this will be a fun one. Our second mock draft is out. They're projecting the Texans to get the number one pick, the Jags to give up on Trevor Lawrence. 
us to go with Miles Murphy. Michael Mayer out of Notre Dame is a, is a freak. Hey, the season's not entirely dead. The Packers are only four and three. If we climb to three and five, we can't quite rule out anything here. Good job, D. Packers just beat up on Arizona, forty-two to seven. Good first down. Let's get some more uh, lively music going in here. Good block, Velas. I wish Montgomery wasn't asking for such a big contract because I would love to get him back for like three years, 30 mil, but he wanted like 52. I'm not entirely ruling out paying him, but. Our goal this week was to throw three touchdown passes, so let's see if we can make that happen. Williams! Hey! Good job, Tyrell. And the defense gets a stop. Okay. Our season has a little bit of a heartbeat here. A pulse. Just run it. Good play by 33. Tavares Moore with the speed. Third and two. Mooney holds on that time. Good route. Can you beat press, Mooney? Go get there. Talks that trash after the play, too. Darnell Mooney. What a throw. You like that? You like that? that was a dime from Fields. He lays out for it. 56, 57 yards down the field. Let's go, baby. Defense gives up a touchdown. You can't stop us. You can only hope to contain us. They keep coming out in base. It's it's tough not to want to throw those bubbles on early downs. No answer for the corner blitz there. <laughs> Good defensive play call there. We're going to just go with a screen here. Although they're going press. Just send it, Fields. Mooney again. Oh! Darnell Mooney! Have a day! He put the team on his back. Mosley's having a hard day. And Fields is dropping some dimes out here. Let's see if we can... Go a little play action. Mooney on the deep crosser. Fake him out with the threat of Velas. Oh, goodness. 
Eight for eight for Fields today. Look at the blocking. Are you kidding me? Who was it? Tevin Jenkins? Is that Oklahoma State Tevin Jenkins that we just saw there? No, that's Cole Komet with a pancake on Bosa. And Jenkins. Look at the run blocking out here. That was textbook. Boom. <laughs> da Bears. That's right, Big Daddy. We were getting hyped up. Third and one. Just get it, Velas. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fields. At least he pushed him out. That was an overthrow. There, there was actually a window there. I know it didn't look pretty, but there, there was actually an opening there. If you want to, if you don't believe me, he overthrew this ball. We're trying to slide this underneath the curl flat here, or the hook zone. We're trying to slide that about right there, and uh, ball gets overthrown. Bummer. But we got the ball right back. Big third down coming up. Tyrell. Man, they keep pressing Darnell Mooney. I don't know why. Oh, he missed him. Come on, Fields. There was a lot of green grass out there. Ouch. There we go. Velas. Hey, Justin, you made it back. Let's go. Oh, God. I was going to throw to the running back there, but I got, af I got afraid of Fred Warner. I'm not going to lie. I saw Fred Warner, and I said, I don't know if I want to throw that. I should have trusted it. Second and forever. Oh, Komet comes wide open up the seam, though. Let's go hurry up. We're going to go QB power. Fields! Are you going to stop the clock there or no? Yes. Hey, let's go, Brandon. Done with school for the summer. Man, is it that time already? I guess it is. Gosh. Holding the ball way too long with Fields. I mean, that's his MO, but... Second half, we got to do a better job getting rid of the ball against this pass rush. Just settle for the field goal here. Yikes, man. Cairo Santos. I'll put him in the doghouse soon. Okay, let's get back to the basics here. Fields was starting to get a little out of control there. At the end of the first half. Run it right at Kinlaw. Yeah, seriously, Santos is not going to make it through next season. At least have the courtesy to double doink it. Right, at least play ho play homage to the old Bears great kickers if you're going to stink it up.
Newsom <laughs> comes back upfield. Good job by Justin taking the check down there. The line holds up just long enough. And Bosa doing Bosa things. Sheds the block and then strips the ball. What a play. Oh my God. <laughs> Stars gonna star, I suppose. Come on, offense. This is getting brutal. Still very much a football game. Mooney's got to round that corner route out much more. I guess it's a more of a deep pylon route than it is a corner route, but I thought that was going to go to the open space there. Okay, block this up, guys. See if Daz can come open underneath. Oh, Daz dropped it. Punt it away. I think we got to go. We really got to lean into our run game. Next possession. Good job, D. Keeping us in it. On the six-yard line. Niners defense is living up to their reputation here. There you go, Montgomery. Oh, he tripped. I just want one keeper with fields where we can see that 91 speed after he got that speed boost. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, baby. That's what's up. That's gonna go down as a rush. Hey, Jazzer, how's it going? We did end up using your draft class, by the way. Some of the colleges got screwed up because of that annoying bug, but... Man, I want to trust Mooney here, but let's stick to the run game. They're daring us. Good blocking, Mooney. There we go. Now we hit the play action. <laughs> Fields just... <laughs> Tries to whip it out there. Good luck. Man, really good run defense. Comet! Woo! That was beautiful. Hell yeah. I kind of want to reward Komet for that. I wish he was running one of these deep routes. Komet's been sweet. All right, Mooney. All right. They're going to... Oh, I thought they were going to overturn that, honestly. Let's just run it here. First down. Is Komet our best offensive player right now? I guess Mooney. Jazzer, we traded... Oh, good run blocking. Look at you, Montgomery. We traded Robert Quinn to the Cardinals for a fifth round pick. So the Cardinals got a couple of defensive players from us. Mario Edwards and... We got their fifth and sixth round picks this year. Okay, Velas. These pop passes have not worked. There you go. Woo! I think that might be Velas Jones' first touchdown. 
Let's go, baby. Niners go score. Okay, we got Vilas Jones on the play action leak here. Gosh, Fields. <laughs> Bosa tried to destroy us, but Vilas could not get open there, by the way. I thought he was going to scream open on the double move, and he did not. Montgomery's been really nice this game. They had that bottled up. Jeez. Maurice Hurst is balling out. Okay, third and 11. Can we block this up? I just want to send Mooney. Oh, he's got him. What a dot. Darnell Mooney talks that trash, but he backs it up. Let's go, baby. He's been so good. Hell yeah. Just in time, 70 viewers showing up in the house, and we get a game-tying-slash-winning drive opportunity now. Got to go the whole distance of the field. This is a great game. Vilas gets out of bounds, at least. Four touchdowns for Fields. Ugh, that hurts. Let's call a timeout. I don't bullet the bubble screens because a lot of times they don't connect. They just glitch out. And sometimes they don't catch it in stride. I can give it a try, but I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Man, I'm going to flip this and just send Mooney if they even let me. That Mooney go ball has been... Get it, Mooney! Oh! Gosh, Bosa got in there. Immediately there. Damn. We didn't have a chance. Okay, we got a double team Bosa. <laughs> Mooney ball. That's right, Joshy boy. Hell yeah. We're giving him the... Actually, I don't really like the look on that, the numbers-wise. Come on, Fields. Missed him. What? What? Dude, that soundbite is so good. <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> Dude, the spread is a push. We had Niners minus three. Oh, uh, thrown just a little bit behind him. Ambry Thomas, I think two interceptions in this game. Oh, man. Fields played great. Just a couple of really costly interceptions. Jalen Johnson gets a pick. Ah, uh, dude, that was going to be, that was at least going to set up an overtime field goal. We did get our goal, throwing touchdowns with Fields, and he gets an upgrade. So at least Fields is not suffering, and he's developing a chemistry with Darnell Mooney. We've got a nickname for the tandem now, Mooney Ball.